Well, guess what? We have a present. Unboxing boxing stream, woo! Yeah! I'm so excited. My guitar came a day early, I'm very excited. Here it is, y'all ready? So I found Orangewood Guitars um, because every like YouTuber that played guitar got one. And I heard them. And I was like, these sound amazing. And then they were like, yeah, they come with a bone nut and a bowed saddle and a solid top. If you don't want to pick up in them, they're only $200. And I was like, what? What? Do you, what are you talking about? And so I emailed them once and said, hey, will you give me a guitar? I really want one. And they didn't give me a guitar. And then I emailed them again and was like, hey, I really like your guitars. I have a I have a one page now. <laughs> now will you give me a guitar? <laughs> and I'm playing a show in Seattle, and I would like a, a new guitar for it. And you, they're really affordable, and I want to be able to recommend a guitar that isn't a thousand dollars to people. You feel me? You understand? If you, you're catching what I'm picking up, what I'm putting down. Finally, I got them. I convinced them to send me a, a guitar. I got the Oliver Live, which makes it a little bit more expensive. But the standard Oliver Mahogany is $225. It's $295 for the live version. But if you get the standard Oliver Mahogany, it's $225. $225! And you get a bone nut and a bone saddle and a solid top. I was like, that's amazing. So the reason that they make their guitar so cheap is because they are a factory to consumer. And so they're able to make their prices way cheaper because you don't have a guitar company's um, you know, price on top of it. And along with that, them being incredibly affordable, they also get set up by a guitar tech in the factory. So first and foremost, we got, we got a nice, nice gig bag that comes with it. I'm impressed. Usually, that's a pretty nice gig bag. I'm not gonna shit with y'all. It's a pretty nice gig bag. It's nice and padded. I, I dig it, I dig it. Is there anything in the pocket? Ooh, there is. What's in the pocket? Okay, we got a pick guard we can decide to put on. I had a genius idea of what if I made a pick guard out of a vinyl record. I got a truss rod thing and a uh, shitty cable. Cool. Would I trust this as I travel in the airport? Um, I would be nervous about it, but because the guitar is so affordable, I think it would change that a little bit. Okay, I probably wouldn't travel with this. I would probably get um, a hard case if you wanna be extra careful, or a, like a, something that has a little bit more like, like rigid sides on the like mono cases or your like typical travel soft case. It has a very rigid soft material on the back and the sides um, and that just stops it from like breaking. <laughs> that's really it. It stops it from breaking because that's like where a lot of the like impact would be. Does that make sense? Here's the moment of truth. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't gotten a new new guitar in so long. That's a lie. It's been a couple years. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! <gasps> it's so pretty! Ooh, this has a nice, this does have a uh, headrest strap, which is very convenient. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Let's give it the in tune test. This might sound really bad. It's pretty close. It's not, but it's close. Let's plug it in. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. I'll take it. 
We'll take it. We'll take it. That sounds really nice. I'm very excited. Hold on. Let's give it a tune. so good this sounds so good <laughs> what it sounds i haven't this is th a 300 dollar guitar a 300 dollar guitar it like it feels really nice i'm impressed i definitely want to change the strings this pickup also sounds really really nice It sounds, it sounds very good. Here, let's take all my, I, let's take this off. What does it sound direct? I like it. I like it. My consensus is I like it. Here's what I have. Here's what I think from playing it out of the box. Um, it plays amazing. This is the best $300 guitar that I have ever played in my life. This plays better than any one that I have ever I have ever played. This is it's amazing. It sounds amazing. This pickup is really nice. I am not used to normal guitar strings. I'm so used to elixirs now, uh, and these don't, aren't coated, so my fingers do hurt. I think I need to put some, some oil, some oil, some oil in the tuning mechanism, because a couple of them were squeaky. But outside of that, I'm gonna change the strings for context. For non-musicians, how much does a typical good guitar cost? So, there's kind of a price jump. And that's one of the cool things about these guitars. So, you have guitars that are 100 to 300. 300 to like 500, 550-ish. Then like 600 and to like 1,000 and then 1,000 up. It's kind of your ranges. And that 100 to 300 range is very, like, the, qu the quality of guitar that you get in 100 to 300 dollars is incredibly low to the quality of guitar that you get from 300 to, f like, 600. Four to 500 dollar guitar, you start to get things like a solid top. You start to get things like a bone nut and saddle. You start to get um, like the equipment that's on it is a little bit nicer. There's like there's certain things that you start to get in that price range that you see in this guitar. Does that make sense? And that's why these guitars don't make any sense. That's why they don't make any sense. Why are you selling a $300 guitar that is like would usually be sold for $600? 
um, like a six, seven hundred dollar guitar. This like uh, this. This arguably sounds better than the PRS that I had. I really like this guitar. It feels really nice. It has a nice like satin finish. I enjoy this guitar. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I enjoy it. I like the guitar. I want more. <laughs> more. <laughs> LOL. I do though. Like, I want all of the guitars. I want them all. Ah, oh, these pretty girls want me around. They don't talk to me like I'm the only one in all these broken boys. Want me around. They all tell me they will make me be the one, but I don't want to. Be someone who, who you come to To tell you you're so pretty How I'm not your game You play when you are lonely Your knees are and I say that you're not broken To validate your words And make you feel like you're the only one I'm not your game You're so pretty I forget how it feels to be wanted by somebody Oh, I let you run your coins Making me something And be the one you come to when you're lonely Oh, no, but I don't want to Be someone who lets you use me For a compliment or two But it's so to be cool and you are lonely too I'm not your game you play when you are lonely you need someone to say that you're not broken to validate your words and make you feel like you're the only guitar